Hello there guys, it's me in Stable Voltage and welcome to episode 13 of Civilization 5 as Poland. Is episode 13 going to be unlucky for us? We are at war with the Celts again. They decided to declare war on me, throw a lot of units at me. They um, have just entered the industrial era. They've got a lot of units close to me. I don't think they're going to pose much of a threat. I think I can wipe out everything they're going to try and send my way. I'm just a little bit worried about some of my cargo routes here. Still, I'm going to do every little bit of damage to them that I can. Start getting some of these guys sunk where possible. So, we should easily be able to sink you. And then we've got a fair bit of damage that we can do to your melee units. We're certainly not going to kill them, but we can do a lot of damage all the same. And again, the problem they've got with their cannons is they're really going to have to get them right in my face to be able to use them. And at that point, I will be able to um, shoot them. So let's go ahead and grab the scientific theory. That gives us more science from our academies. It also gives us more production from our lumber mills and we can now build public schools. We're working on metallurgy. After metallurgy, we probably want to go into rifling so we can get riflemen because they are being pain in the arses. Um, in fact, actually, no, I don't even think we need that. I think we want to go metallurgy into fertilizer because then we can help our cities because the growth is stalling out a little. Now we get a free policy because, of course, we are Poland. So plus one gold from every science building. 50 gold goes up to 59. Not a huge amount, but it will help. One, two, three. There is a fish uh, tile there. We should definitely build a work boat here on the next available, uh, next available turn. Let's go ahead and put you over here. And we'll uh, put you to sleep until we do expand to a tile that we can actually use. Now that unit is probably going to land, and indeed it does. It won't be able to do anything really on that turn, which is fine. So we should be able to shoot it. I do have some melee units down here, so I can sort of move down and block them from landing. That's not a problem. Three turns away from getting a frigate down here as well. Um, Sweden has adopted autocracy. We can also take a shot with one of our cities and do a lot of damage like that let's go ahead and take a shot with you we won't get the kill by doing that unfortunately but it does mean that we can move a musketman down there we can get the kill with the musketman and then that does sort of help to block their knight off a little there we go and of course we've got more units trying to move in up here so let's go ahead and start weakening some of these down. It would be nice to get rid of their cannons if we can. I know the, the melee units are also important, but it is my intention to try and take out as many units as they throw towards me. We've got another free spy who we aren't currently using everywhere. Let's go and move you and try and spy on the Incans. They probably don't really have anything, but we'll, um, we'll have a look anyway. Might be able to get something from there. Uh, can we hit anything else? No. Unit needs orders. You can't reach anything from there. Austria's plotting against um, the Celts. That's fine. I didn't click on you, did I? Did I click on you? Oh, I think she's spying on um, Pachacuti. That was why that came up as well. I don't really care. Um, cargo ship. As much as it would be nice to send my cargo ship somewhere useful. Actually, where were you going to previously? Because you've managed to survive all this time. You were going to Carthage. We'll actually send you to, to Gaza. It's slightly further away and it might be slightly safer. I don't want us to lose cargo ships. If we lose them, we lose them. We'll have to rebuild them. Yeah, we did. Did we just lose one there? No, I'm surprised. We definitely need want to try and take out Cardiff, though. But I am going to need probably three frigates to do that and a privateer. So we've already got one frigate. We're a couple of turns away from finishing the second. I might be able to um, buy the third. So let's move you down here so we'll get the oligarchy bonus. And then we'll, we know that that will definitely sink you. Not too sure why you're moving units south, because you're not really going to be able to do anything with them, so that's fine. You carry on doing that. And uh, well, would you look at that? He's backing off with everything else. So you're going to heal up. 
And everyone else is just going to basically guard. You can go to sleep because I've got nothing for you to do. Now what we can do is we can come out with this frigate and try and damage some stuff that is in the water. So we can start taking shots at your cannons that are very um, not well protected. And that's the good thing about frigates. Frigates are very expensive to buy though. That's the problem. But we should be able to get close enough to Cardiff to do something nasty to it. Now, do I want to keep Cardiff? The answer to that is probably no. It does have wheat and it does have truffles. We don't have a lot of happiness. I'm not necessarily sure that it'll be all that useful. Uh, we have a new frigate. We want targeting against... Um, I still think targeting against land units is best. Now, there's a lot of units coming towards us here, so let's start by um, taking all of the ones out that we can. And we are going to work on a... Well, we definitely need a privateer, so let's start working on one. Unit needing orders, of course. We've also got our frigate up here now. If we move forwards just slightly, now we are in range of Cardiff. That is a forest, so I can't fire and hit those guys as much as I would love to. I can move down to here though, and then that gives me a shot on a couple of different targets. Let's go for that one. And we are still out of range of Cardiff there, so we're fine. You can't hit anything. There we go, so moving units a little bit closer now makes them easier for me to hit. So how are things going for you there, Celts? Explain to me again why you decided to try and attack me here. Now, I could afford at this point to get another research agreement with Morocco, and I'd like to. But at the same time, I really do want to buy another frigate. I think we'll need one. Still haven't lost a cargo ship yet. You've managed to land some units there, which is quite naughty. So, we'll take a shot with the city. Um, we can... Possibly finish you off? No, we can't. That's unfortunate. Well, we'll finish you off with the, um... Frigate. And then we can sink one of those. We'll probably go for the Musketman because we can easily attack the cannon if it lands. So that should be fair enough. Can't attack that guy, unfortunately, because of where he is. Now then, Krakow has finished the Colosseum. Let's go and get a workboat because we know we need one of those. There's some fish down there that we could be working on. Um, embargo, Austria. Sure, we don't like Austria. And Sweden don't like Austria, and Sweden have the majority vote, so they are probably going to vote to uh, embargo Austria. So, what am I working on? We're working on the privateer there, and I want to build another frigate. Yeah, you're now sailing back with your cannon. We'll get the research agreement. I would have liked to... I mean, I can wait until this is finished and we can build another frigate. I definitely want to take Cardiff. I'm not going to let them out of this war until I've gotten rid of that city. Because that is just a troll city. And while they are potentially threatening my trade, I'm not that threatened by them. I also think Cardiff's their only coastal city. Which is why they're not actually... Uh, why they don't have any boats. So, jewelry's been banned and Austria has been embargoed. That is fine. Um, you still aren't in range to hit anything. You're very much... It. Oh, you get a promotion. Let's go and give you, um, Bombardment 2. And we can go and get rid of that. Also, they've cheekily landed a scout up here, which they don't need anymore. So we'll get rid of that for them. There we go. Save them a little bit of money in maintenance. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. And, uh, well, on to the next turn, I suppose. Ah, now they have knights coming forward. Looks like they built walls in Cardiff. That was to be expected. 
We knew was, that was going to happen. No, we don't need open borders with you. Uh, you want to go to war with Morocco. Obviously, I don't want to get involved in that because I'm friends with both of you. And I have research agreements with both of you as well. Come to that. One more turn, we'll have another research agreement with Askia. In fact, that is just completed. Uh, what have we got queued up or well, rifling after fertilizer? That is fine. General progress. We, we're close to getting a general. We are close. It's tricky, though. Right, do you have any more units down there? I don't think you do. So if we move up to here, you're out of Cardiff's reach, and we can do quite a bit of damage to you with the frigate. This one's probably a little bit too far away. Yeah, we can move up to here, though. Don't think they have anything else to throw at us, really. Um, you just go on to guard for now. There's no point attacking Cardiff with the frigates one at a time because they'll just lose so much health, they'll just get destroyed one at a time. I really need to be able to move in with all three of them on the same turn and start firing. Um, I guess I can sell you my horses again. It's not a terrible idea. And what now? Why does it keep saying you, you're in range of stuff when quite clearly you're not? Does mean, however, we can finish off that um, guy there. If we just move you over. And now they've lost another unit. Fantastic. Cargo ship, you were going to Saleh. Let's keep that route going and hope that it's safe. On to the next turn. So that's twice now the Celts have decided to declare war on me. Yeah, they still want to declare. They still want peace, and they still want a city from me. I honestly cannot believe that they think that they are in a position to ask for stuff. Um, research agreement with Askia. I'm going to accept. I keep trying. I keep saying I'm saving the money up to try and uh, buy another frigate, but. Research agreements on deity are just too good. I and mean, I'm so not used to actually having the AI want to have declaration of friendships with me. Githionia, you could work on a frigate, and that would take 15 turns. 15 turns is a long time, but it's still probably quicker than I'll actually get the money, so we'll do that. You still can't reach anything, but you're still telling me you can, because you're an idiot. Let's go and get a few more XP points on our ships. Are they actually at war with Austria yet? No, they're just at war with me. Cargo ship, you can just carry on. Go. You might as well go to that one now. It's worth slightly more. Seriously, Celts, what have you got left? Because you can't have much, surely. We're also then going to want to... Yeah, having a few frigates isn't a bad idea. Austria declared war on the Incans. That is weird. They're quite far apart from one another. Um, may purchase with faith. It's not enough for a building yet. I think we need 450, so we'll wait on that one. Um, production. Krakow has finished the work boat. That is fantastic. Might as well work on the lighthouse. It'll help you. Work boat on to the fish. Now then, we can't reach that one, unfortunately. It's a little bit too far away. So, let's get a tile you are working that is not very good. Well, that's a decent tile, but you'd be better off there. It'll help you grow. And um, they've got nothing. I guess we could have a look and see what damage we could do to Cardiff. Or we could just try and weaken up some more units. Let's just go and try and kill some more units. Yeah, we might take some some damage from the city, but we can pull back and uh, heal up. It's worth it for a few cheap kills. Shame we don't have another one there, but never mind. So this frigate's probably going to get hit. Yep, there we go. Gives me a good 
indicator of the damage. So we took approximately a third of our health in damage. This is why you really need three frigates to be able to do anything. But that's fine. So what we're going to do... I'm sure that's... Yeah, that keeps changing the production. Uh, you're going to move uh, back up to here. You are going to finish off that crossbowman. You should really heal up, but we're going to start doing some serious damage to that knight. What I could also do as well is move slightly forward with this guy and just move the crossbowman out at this point. Because they can't really get to me all that easily and we do have a line of sight across the water there so we can weaken stuff up with that. They don't have anything else anywhere near me. Uh, Githionia has grown. You're working the... It should work in decent tiles at the moment so I think we just carry on with these tiles. Seems fair enough. On to the next turn. So most of this video, and a fair bit of the last one as well, has just been this sort of battle with the Celts, but what can I say? They started it. We sort of knew it was coming, but it, it was definitely their own fault. Askia's got quite a few different luxury resources to trade, and he wants quite a few different things in exchange for them. He wants iron. I could definitely go ahead and sell him some iron, actually. Wilsonia has grown. Let's just deal with that first. You've moved on to that tile there. Um, which is not brilliant, but it's not terrible either. I do want you to start working uni slots, though. But the growth here is just so, so bad. 31 turns, 24 turns. Okay, what else have we got? Now, very nicely... Oh, cannons. Hello, let's do some damage to that. I did move into this position because I wanted to attack the pikeman, but the cannon is too juicy a target, so we'll heal up with you. Now then, you want iron. Um, if I give you four, and I can never remember what this is. Let's do it in... Um, Twos. I'm sure it's 135 for two. Yep. Now, will you take two more for another 135? So it would have been 270. Uh, not gold per turn, straight up gold. Yep. I don't think I want to sell my last... Mind you, we don't really use iron for anything now. We could probably build some ironclads. But if he'd be willing to buy another two more off me, that could really help. Um, so if we go for two more iron, as you've just got all the money in the world, apparently. Um, 135 again. Yep, yeah, we're still doing it. Okay, that's given us quite a bit of money now. Uh, Warsaw has now finished the National Epic. Let's go ahead and get a public school. Still saying this city can fire on something, but there is nothing close enough for it to hit. You guys stay there. You guys stay there. Where did they move that knight to? I'm sure I didn't kill it. Cardiff has grown in population. They're shooting at my frigate. I expected that to happen. Unfortunately, we can't do a lot of damage against the cannon, but we do want to try and take out as many of their land units as we can while we have the opportunity to do so. So we will. There's fertilizer done. That should help with some of the growth in some cities. We've got a promotion here. Let's give it bombardment too. Now we'll actually do more damage to that uh, cannon. And we'll move down here with you, even though you're not fully healed, but we can do some damage to this caravel. So we will want to heal our boats up. Again, you still can't shoot anything. Stop lying to me, game. Telling me that you can hit something when you can't. So the cannon's going to shoot back at... Mind you, you're going to attack now. That could be potentially dangerous. All of a sudden, they've just got a lot of units from nowhere. You want to go to war with Austria. That's fantastic. Would love to help you out. Kind of got problems of my own. Everyone wants to go to war with Austria. Looks like Austria is about to have a really bad day. So as much as I would love to take that cannon out, I am going to have to pull back with my units. 
definitely need to pull back with this one. Can we finish you off? Unfortunately not, but before we do anything, we do have a promotion. And we have got ourselves a privateer. Um, let's give you boarding party, actually. Can we scuttle this? Might be able to if we're lucky. Might take a hit from the cannon, but privateers can take a beating. Ah, oh, didn't quite kill it. That's a shame. Um, let's pull you back to friendly territory. You can finish that off for sure. And now you've finished the privateer, you can work on a public school? Sure, why not? We'll have one more turn on this video. And we just, we really need to get that frigate. I'd, I would like to get another one. Having four frigates is probably what it's going to take. Four frigates at full health, all moving in at the same time. Of course, we might have to move in first and try and pick off some of their other units. I like how it says we'd get a major warmonger penalty if we took this city, even though they started the war and they were the one that forward settled us. It's strange the way that this game works out sometimes. Let's move some of these units into safer areas. Um, wine for copper to Morocco has ended. That looks like because Morocco don't have um, copper anymore. So that does hurt the happiness a little bit. Now I've got some spare wine. We'll see if anybody comes forward and asks for any. Again, still telling me you can hit something that you clearly cannot. And we'll get everybody else nice and healed. And then we'll start getting ready, hopefully in the next video, to attack Cardiff. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying Civilization V as Poland. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.